Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Six Shadows and it's been way too long guys. Welcome to episode one of my solo series. I didn't intend to be gone for as long as I did, which is like fucking 10 days or something. I apologize again. I know pretty much every video I just apologize for being like for not uploading, but that's going to change guys. I promise I've taken a gap year off uni. So I'm going to attempt to do this full time every day for a year. I'm going to upload and also stream when I can as well on top of that. So yeah, over the time that I've been gone, I had a poll running in the Discord asking what type of official content you guys wanted to see, whether it be like a slow solo official type of thing, which everyone seems to be doing nowadays, or you wanted the flak rating, like big tribe thing that I usually do. And the votes were pretty much 50-50. So what I'm gonna do for you guys, I'm gonna run both the series at the same time. So we've got this one right now, which is gonna be solo, possibly duo, depending on what Muntage wants to do. I haven't spoken to him since he lost his character, but we may end up meeting up with him later and just doing a duo series. And then I'm also going to be joining a bigger tribe in the next couple of days, and then we can start doing the flak raids and some bigger raids over there. That's it for now. We're pretty much just going to have the two series running side by side, both on official. I'm going to be using different characters for both the series, just so there's no confusion. So for the solo one, I'm going to be running my old level 83 character. It's going to have the red hair. It's from that very old tribe on Ragnarok before we started all the merging. And then for the other one, I'm going to be using my level 100. And yeah, it should be good, guys. I'm really hyped for it. I haven't played official in so long. For those of you guys that weren't here from the start, my channel actually started with a solo series. So on the old legacy servers, that's how I pretty much got half my subscribers was just from playing solo. And yeah, it should be good. So first up, I came to a drop. I just want to show you guys that it is actually official because you do get those comments of the people trying to stir the pot. So here you go, I'm at a drop, I can transfer all the official servers. Couple more things I just want to go over before I shut up. Apologies for talking so much at the start of the video. Uh, the first thing is my unofficial server. It pretty much died again, a lot of people predicted it, I just wasn't around for the server. Like, um, there were three tribes on there that started under meshing, and by the time I was online to deal with the problem, they pretty much undermeshed everyone except for one tribe. I even got undermeshed myself before I banned them all which is uh, just super annoying, really demotivated me from playing this server. I apologize to anyone that invested a high amount of time on the server, uh, but for now, I don't think I'm gonna be running my own server. It's just too much trouble to run it and play at the same time. I just wanna relax, enjoy the game and make entertaining videos for you guys. That was always my goal. So that's what I'm gonna do. And that's pretty much it guys. I don't wanna talk for too long. I can always talk later in the episode. For now, we're gonna jump straight into the official. So I picked up a few drops on the server earlier, just walking around a little. I got a couple seeds, I got two beaver dams, which gave me all the paste. I got these really nice flak gauntlets from a blue drop, I believe, or was it a yellow drop? Something like that, but I got those from a drop. So it's a pretty good start towards getting our griefing gear going. As I've been talking, I've been running over to my usual base spot, the, the really nice starter metal that I always talk about. So this mountain here, I may as well show it on the map. Oh wow, they've updated the map markers, shows how long I haven't played. That's actually really cool. So yeah, where I am now, really nice starter spot if you're looking to start a base on the island by yourself. Metal right there, and then you just hide your base somewhere down here in the trees, which is what I'm going to do. Hopefully there's still some trees up. Looks like a lot of people have built here. All right guys, so what I'm gonna do first, I'm gonna get the starter base going, get the metal smelting, because it's gonna take a really long time uh, with the, the normal forges. So well, yeah, we'll get that going first. We'll cut the trees over to this guy's base instead of where we want to base. Chuck down a foundation and a forge, and then we'll get going. I also want to look for a, uh, like, a Iguanodon would be really fucking key. I really like Iguanodons in the early game, so we'll look for one of those as well. But first things first, we need the starter hide to get the forge in the first place, so let's go ahead and do that. Oh, fuck, there's a guy in that base. He just came outside the gate. Oh, can I make a bowler? I want to try and kill him. I, I don't want to lose my flat gauntlets, though, and the pace. He's up there cutting wood. I really should fight him. So let me quickly chuck down a box. So yeah, we want to make this all about PvP. So I may as well fight the guy, see what he's got on him. All right, there we go. We got our paste and shit. Nicely stored away in the boxes. We'll quickly make a club. Head on up there and see if we can kill this guy. Uh, he might have metal tools on him, which would be a really nice start for us. He has a metal base, so he most likely has metal tools. At least that's what I would think. Oh wow, there's a bit of metal right here in this smithy. I'll definitely take that. That's so good. So where did the guy go? I saw him up here cutting down trees. He might have went back into his base. We're going to always stalk him, wait for him to come out. Ah, uh, there he is. He's outside his base. Oh my god, I think I can get in, guys. So I, th I think I have fit. 
All right, we're in, we're in. Get out my bowlers. So when I saw him before, he was on the side door, like over here somewhere. There he is, there he is. And he's carrying nothing. He's carrying one single metal spike wall. Why wouldn't he be carrying tools? Alright, so that was a bust. My plan to start with metal tools was a failure. Let's just go ahead and get back to our storage boxes and start the episode, guys. We could probably start with metal tools because of that metal that we found. Alright, so we'll craft up the smithy and then we should be good to go ahead and get metal tools up as well. There's an alpha raptor over there that killed me just then, so gotta avoid that. To be honest, that guy's kind of ruined the area. There's not really any good places to fucking build a hidden base because he's chopped down like every single tree. I need to wait for some respawns or go like further down here. There we go. We'll just place it there. I'm not sure what we were too close to over there, but we're really close to the metal now. We shouldn't be blocking the spawns either. It should be really good. All right, there we go. Smithy down. With the metal that we got, we should be able to make a pick and an axe, I think. Let's pray. Pick and axe. Perfect. Can we make a uh, pike? No, we can't. We're oh, completely out of metal. Perfect amount of metal. We finally got the forge, guys. Can I get a bed as well by any chance? Let's see. Bed. Probably don't have enough hide. No, we don't have enough hide. But we can finally get the metal smelting, which is what we needed. I forgot where I placed... Oh, there it is. Look at that, guys. Look at that distance to metal. My forge is there. The metal's fucking right here. Perfection. All right, there we go. We got the metal burning. We got some food cooking, which we desperately need. But yeah, we just need hide and we just need the metal to smelt. Already good on the paste. I'm a little bit cautious to run these during the night time since we are right next to that guy's base that we saw earlier. The one we clubbed out and got this spike wall from. It's a little bit risky, but I do need the metal to smell. Otherwise, we're not going to get anywhere, so we may as well just run it. I think what I will do, just so I can be a little bit safer, is farm myself up like a 2 by one stone base. So yeah, we'll get ourselves up a quick stone base, just so we can smelt in peace without our shit getting stolen. So I'll just farm that up now real quick. Alright, so I think I have everything I need to build the base. Obviously, if you're playing solo, you want a double wall, double door. But for me, I'm not going to bother doing it in stone. I might do it when I build out of metal. With stone, it's just temporary so that I can uh, smelt my metal in peace without having to worry about everything being stolen. So we've got the other smithy inside. We can demolish this one. All right, let's see if I can make myself a pike. I should be able to. Got any wood? No, I need to quickly get some wood. Make a pike and then we'll get some more hide. I want to get three forges going just to make it a little bit faster, even though it's still going to be extremely slow. But three forges will definitely help that. And then we should be able to have a metal base up this episode. Oh, a Guanadon. Let's check out its level. Maybe we can tame it. Level 35. That could be really good, actually. So I need 64 Narkberries. And it'll take 40 minutes. I could do that. That should be nice and easy. I just hope it can get knocked out in a, with a club. So we'll give it a try. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I forgot I was standing in front of it. So yeah, hopefully we can knock it out. And then if we can, it should be a nice, easy tame. I can leave this guy to tame while I go ahead and do the metal. Alright, doesn't look like it's going to tame. So I'll kite it for a little bit and then bowler it again. Just got to wait for the timer. I'm not sure how long it takes before you can bowler shit again. Shouldn't be too long. So just kite it a little bit. That might be enough. There we go. Oh fuck, my club broke. I think I took too long, but we'll have to wait and see. There we go guys, the Guanadon's down after three bowlers. It needs 200 berries to tame. I have zero, so I get... I better get picking, I guess. I'm gonna be here for quite a while just picking bushes. Alright, that should be everything. So it should be good to tame now. I'm gonna need to get a whole bunch more hide. I forgot to gamma down, guys. Apologies if it looks shit. I gotta get back into the groove of gammering up and down. I know I'm gonna forget sometimes. Alright, second forge down, guys. The thing I was still taming, whatever it's called. Iguanodon, there we go. It's still taming. So I'm gonna get these forges uh, as full as I can while, they're, while it's taming. Can't be gone for too long though, it might wake up. So I just spoke to Montage guys, it is going to be a duo series. He's uh, in a tribe now that's helping him level up since he did lose his character if you do watch his videos. So he's leveling up a new character, he's farming up a bit of metal and then we're going to meet up. Choose a servo, start building a base together. Like the good old times, the, the legacy servers. And yeah, it should be good guys, I'm pretty hyped for it. I really did miss official. I always said that I hated the grind, but now that I've started doing it, I'm actually really enjoying it. There we go guys, our Guanadon's tamed. Just in time, because I think the metal at the base has started to run out. 
So we should be able to smelt quite a bit of metal with this guy. He's only got 440 weight, so we're going to level him up a little bit. I mean, it's pretty decent. It's more than I have on me, so... Alright, so I've pretty much mined all of the metal on the mountain. And now we just wait. We play the good old waiting game for the normal forges. They're pretty much stocked with metal at the moment. So about, about 400 in each. And then we've got a whole bunch of ingots ready to go. I'm going to go ahead and talk to Montage. See what server he wants to play on. See if he's got anything to bring to the base. I do know that he lost his character in his latest episode. But I think I said earlier, he has been leveling with some Mega Tribe. Like they're helping him level up. And then we're going to go ahead and duo. So yeah, we'll wait for this to smelt, guys. I'll cut back to when it's done and what we've decided to do in regards to meeting up with Montage. All right, guys, so the metal's still smelting in the base. I did a couple more runs, so I think we'll have like maybe 1.6k metal in total when it all smelts, but it's going to be quite a while. Uh, in the meantime, going to meet up with Montage on a different server. We're going to base on a different server. So the tribe that was uh, helping him level up, he farmed up a base while he was in the tribe. So I'm going to go ahead, jump servers, help him like move all the parts. We're going to get the base up and running, and then we'll come back for all the metal that I farmed. So just run into this drop now. I've already uploaded the Iguanodon, but the cooldown was too high for the saddle. I think it was like 28 minutes. So too long. We're just going to farm up a new saddle on the other server. And yeah, it should be good. Alright guys, so we're at the drop. Pulling my Iguanodon out. Oh my god, it's really damaged. I don't know how that happened. So yeah, we need the Iguanodon, some Montage you can put all these building parts. So basically, he brings us each one set of flak, a wingsuit, and some building parts. I think that's it. You can check out his video if you want to know everything that he brings. Alright guys, so we're ready to go. Montage is building the base. We're going to build a nice hidden base to start with. And then later on, we might probably build up. We say that we won't build up and we'll stay hidden, but it never usually works out. So we'll probably end up building up at some point. For now though, Montage is going to build the base. I'm going to get a hot little time lapse going of the build. I know some people like to watch building. Alright guys, so scratch the time lapse. We're not going to be able to do it. It's taken Montage quite a while to build because of like the... The oh, placement issues. So fucking expensive. And it doesn't even look that good to be honest because of the trees. So just going to cut to when the base is built. Alright guys, so the base, it's super scuffed. Like we kind of fucked up the build completely. Luckily it's only temporary, we are going to move it later. For now though, like we can't put a trap door here for some reason, obstructed from something. We tried demoing everything, so now we got the storage box jumping method. We also can't access the fucking generator because we placed it incorrectly. Um, so there's not gonna be any gas in this base unless we put the journey somewhere else. So as you can see, you can't access it. Uh, pretty annoying. So yeah, for now, temporarily, this is our base, guys. We have a vault at least, so like if someone wants to raid us, they have to blow the vault. But yeah, um... <laughs> yeah, that's about it, I guess. We're gonna have to demo the vault anyway later so we can actually fix the journey. For now though, that's it for the base build. Sorry I couldn't put a time lapse in. Just the location we decided to build it in and like how fiddly the build was made it pretty hard to put it in. Just because of how long it was taking and I had to go and demo stuff so I couldn't like stand there and watch. But yeah, we got a temporary base down. Pretty good progress for the first day I must say. Even if Montage kind of cheated and... I oh, not really cheated because he did have this stuff in his old base. So that's pretty much it for the episode guys. I hope you enjoyed the solo official. I'm pumped to be back. It's actually so much fun. Tilted me. I, I really missed the grind. I've been having a lot of fun so far. Hopefully it can continue. I'm really looking forward to some more solo raids and some duo griefs and all that kind of stuff. All the good stuff that we used to do. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the episode, guys. Hope you enjoyed this one. Thanks for watching. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video.